hello guys and welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can remove the activation lock on your iphone so make sure to watch the video till the very end to avoid any mistake which may cause any more trouble to your device so without wasting further time let's head back straight to the video so my name is rohit and you're watching snap tech so let's get started So first download all the files from the description below and you will get this two zip file frp file aio version 2.8.4 and this checkrain snaptech checkrain 0.12.4 for windows even though checkrain is not available for windows it is just available for linux and mac os i have patched a version of checkrain 0.12.4 just for it to work so make sure to download all the files from the description below and not from anyone else for it to work properly so once you have done that make sure you have a spare usb drive or pen drive you can say as well with like 4gb or 8gb of storage so after you have downloaded all the files just unzip this snaptech checkrain file so i will do that now so once you have unzipped this file just open this folder and then click on this rufus 3.17 then make sure your device your usb device is selected over here you can check the device name which is h device h you can see over here snaptech checkrain h so once you have checked that open rufus and select the device proper device otherwise you can even lost data if you have some other device connected so make sure you check the correct device so once you have done that just drag and drop this disk image file from here over here like boot selection disk or iso image and drop it so once you do that just copy all the settings if there is something else on your screen so once you have done that just click on start and and will erase everything on your pen drive so make sure if there is some other data which you want to keep you have already copied it somewhere in your pc so once you click on start it gives you a warning that all data on device will be erased so just click on ok so once you do that you will need to wait for some time so that our boot image get patched into our pen drive So our pen drive is ready now as you can see here ready so you can close this box over clicking here click on close and then now you have to boot into your bios so that you can boot through your pen drive into the checkrain interface so i'll shift to my hand cam to show you the whole process so you can boot into your bios like if you are using a gigabyte motherboard you can press the delete key while your pc is booting and you can see the bios screen otherwise if you are using some other motherboard it might be different for you you can just google it out how to open the bio setting or select the boot option on your pc so let's do let's restart our pc so once it's booting up keep pressing the delete key i'll do it for you it might be different so just google it out so keep pressing the key to boot into bios So as you can see currently I'm in my BIOS. Now go to this BIOS option over the here. Over here as boot option one, I will select my pen drive which is Sandisk Cruiser Blade. And once you do that, just click on save and exit. And click on save and exit setup. And press enter on save configuration.
so now you can see that we have booted into a check ring interface so now connect your device to your pc and you can see the pop-up of my device iphone 5s global running on ios 12.5.4 so now just go to the option and this enable this just enable this all untested iOS, iPad, OS, TV, OS versions and even select the VersoBose plus enter and then just go back you can use arrow key and enter key to navigate through the whole software so once done click on start click on next and it will boot your device into recovery mode and you can see our device is in recovery mode now so once you have done that just click on start and then just do the whole process together you need to do this process quickly you can see the whole process instructions on pc as you can see the exploit has been started now So once you see this second command, just disconnect your device and connect it again instantly. It will show you some error or fail on your screen, but it's okay.
So as you can see it's done, our device has been jailbreaked. Now we can move on to our next step. So once you boot into your system again, go to the files that we have downloaded. Then once you go there, just unzip this FRP file AIO version 2.8.4. So I will do that now. So once you have done that, just copy this folder and go to your this PC and go to your C drive and paste it over here. And once you have done that, make sure your phone is connected to your PC and is on this hello screen. Then open this FRP file AIO version 2.8 application. So once you do that, you can see this jail token, yes. Then you can click here to register, like so once it's registered, just click on this bypass hello screen. And then just press the home button and click on trust like it's shown on the screen. As you can see on the right bottom, I click on trust. Once you do that, click on OK. It will start the whole thing process. Bypass the activation lock on your iPhone. So it will show you some pop up on your screen, you don't have to do anything. It will take some time to complete, so make sure to be a little patient. So you will see this bypass until it is successful, you want to bypass work all function. Then you can just click on no, it's okay. So as you can see the bypass has been completed. And as you can see that activation lock has been removed. And we can just use our device. I will just switch to my device quickly. As you can see everything is working properly and our device activation lock has been removed. Everything is running fine. So this is how you can remove the activation lock on your iOS device. So make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed. And if you are new to my channel and you want more of Android and iOS tech videos, just click on that subscribe button below. So this is it for this video. I'll meet you in the next one. Snaptech signing out.